last stop before the World Cup. Welcome to Melbourne for Australia against New Zealand. A trans-Tasman rivalry that goes back 88 years. Here's how it worked. When a player did something special on the field, the creative team wrote tomorrow's headline inspired by the moment. It was then transmitted electronically to the stadium's digital billboard and viewed by 55,659 fans. We call this the live board. Well, just a few short years ago, football in both Australia and New Zealand was at its slowest ebb. Hold off Carney. Knocked on by Smells. Chance for New Zealand and they've scored the Kiwis. And he ghosts it into the far stick and Chris Killen sends those all-white supporters into raptures at the MCG. Adam Federici's goal. Leo Bertos fancies it though. Kills it low and hard, comes out to Ben Sigmund. Needed a bit too long to control it there. No, good, good block there from Craig Moore. Ben Sigmund. Brought down nicely by Rory Fallon. What an effort by Rory Fallon, not far away. Well, that had everyone holding their breath, didn't it? Intelligent ball, too, to pick out Miller Yedinak. Held up by Elliott, and then drilled just wide by Mark Milligan. So close to a second goal in as many internationals. Molina, 1 2 with McDonald's. Slightly overran it. Dario Vinicic ties it up at 1 0 with his first international goal. What a moment! Zealand territory, and I think about Tommy Orr might be coming on shortly. Yeah, I think we're going to get the biggest cheer of the night. Probably. So it's Carney. It's Australia look for a late winner. Squared up for Carl Valeri. Little sandwich over the top, and Holman! It's there! Brad Holman has scored for Australia and probably won the game for Australia with just his second international goal and his first for three years.